Heavy rain bans, flash flooding, and tornado sirens. Parts of Florida and Georgia being pummeled by Debbie. Meteorologist Amy Wilmoth hit the road in the WRAL storm tracker early this morning, and she plans to stay with the storm until the threat is over. As they traveled, conditions deteriorated quickly. We made our way down to Savannah, Georgia today. We're along the riverfront right now, and we plan to track Debbie as it makes its way toward North Carolina. Debbie already having big impacts here in Savannah, Georgia, with wind and especially heavy rain. This is video from the storm tracker from earlier today as we drove into Savannah. Water was already covering roads, making it tough to navigate at times. Multiple cars ended up stranded in floodwaters, and numerous roads were barricaded. And this will likely be historic flooding for the Savannah area. They're expecting 10 to 20 inches of rain with isolated totals up to 30 inches. Extreme flooding is expected to continue for this area through at least Tuesday before Debbie starts to move towards South Carolina and eventually into North Carolina. We plan to track Debbie as it makes its way into Charleston, South Carolina tomorrow, and we'll have more live reports in Charleston tomorrow. In Savannah, Georgia, I'm meteorologist Amy Wellmuth.